Okay, you all. I just wanted to get on here to show beginners and people that don't know how to use the um, Cricut machine how to use it. And um, the first video that I'm going to make today is just going to show you how to put in the how to do the text. So this is like probably the easiest thing and then I'll make more videos to show you how to do designs and other things. Uh, you can just comment down below and let me know what you would like for me to do so that you all can see it, okay? So this is the canvas for your Cricut machine. And um, we're gonna go down on your right hand side to text, okay? And then you'll see a text box appear. And I'm just gonna write the word blessed in this text box. And um, the piece of vinyl that I cut is like a two by eight. So I don't want to make my text any bigger than that. So I'm just going to make my width about a 6, uh, 7.5. Uh-oh, sorry. going to make my width about a 7.5 if I can get it. Sorry, it was locked. Okay, I'm going to make my width about a 7.5, and then I'll let my height be whatever the uh, machine would like it to be. However, if you want your height to be bigger or if you want your width to be bigger, you can always use this unlock button, and you can change your width or your height by that. So if I wanted to, to go to the 2, I would, but I like for my um, images to be smaller than what my vinyl is. So... I know that it'll print correctly. Okay, so I'm going to do my image at a 7.5 as the width and height. I'll do 8 or I will just actually let my, I'll let the machine choose my height for me. Okay, so when it goes light like that, that means the machine is thinking. So I can click back on here. I'm going to go ahead and do this at a 3. And then I'm going to just go ahead and change this back to a 7.5 just so the machine can do my measurements on height. Okay, and then we're just going to go over to make it. FYI, if you want to change the color, depend. you can always go up here to line type and change the color to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter because it's going to print whatever color that a vinyl that you put on that mat. So the color doesn't matter. But if you're doing multiple projects and you want to use, like, if, say, for instance, if I wanted to use Blessed um, three different times, but I wanted it on three different colors, I could just use, uh, just change the three different colors and then I'll just insert the paper as is. Or I could just insert three different strips onto that one board that I've just showed you and just leave them all at blue. I mean, at red, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to see I can leave it all at red and they all are print on the same board. Even if I use di three different color vinyls, that'll be fine. But we'll get into that on another video. So now we're just going to go to make. Okay, and this is the design here. As you can see, let me change this color so you all can see. I'm sorry. I didn't. Well, that's okay. Okay, as you can see, it's like a darker red border line that's going around the board, the, the mat. I never like to put my image on those lines because that line right there is like the cutting line. It's like the max or line that your stuff should be on. And sometimes if you put it directly on that line, it may cut off your image. So I normally go down a little bit and over a little and always make sure when you're doing the type of vinyl that I'm using, you want to make sure you mirror, mirror your image, okay? So I did the mirroring, and then you want to press continue. Vinyl. Okay, and then... On the Bluetooth option, I can show you all how to use that. Otherwise, this is what I have. So I'll load my mat and I'll print. And once it's finished printing, I will come back to you all and show you all how to weave the image. Okay? Thank you.